Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your favorite cow. And if I couldn't be lo-fi enough, I got an SP404. I've had some experience in the past with the SP202, so I'm pretty comfortable with this kind of analog machine. One of the things I love the most about the newest models of the 404 is that you can play live pretty comfortably. So today, I'm going to show you how I set up my live set on the 404. Let's get into it. Alright, so first thing you want to do when you are setting up your SP404 set is determining what's the setting of the venue that you're going to be performing at. If it's a more laid back setting, you kind of want to pick some more lo-fi chill beats. And if it's kind of like a beat showcase, beat battle kind of thing, kind of want to play some more upbeat beats to kind of get the crowd going. Next, how to put your tracks onto the SP. What's great about the SP404SX and the SP404A models is the fact that now they come with an SD card that you can easily input into your laptop to upload tracks. I use a program found on the Roland website and they made it super, super simple. Download the program and you can easily import your tracks using your computer. First, you remove the SD card from the SP404 and input it into your laptop. Then use the app to import the tracks to your desired pad. Once you know how to do that, now you can determine and figure out in what order you want your songs to be played in. I always like to start off strong with a more upbeat track and then play some slower tracks during the middle. And then once it reaches the climax or the end of the set list, I end up with a bang. Another tip is to pick tracks that have a similar BPM. It could be quite jarring to play a really slow track and then transition to a really upbeat one. I'll kind of throw the audience off balance. Also, try formatting your tracks beforehand, create shorter or longer versions on the DAW of your choice. What I like to do is to add a delay and then a bar of silence at the end of the beat so I know when the track is about to end and it won't just cut off abruptly. Transitioning on the 404 is a bit limiting, but a way around that is to add sound clips in between songs to cut the tension. As so, like... I'm not a cow. Randall, there is a cow outside. I see your hobbies are drinking, smoking weed, and all types of ill shit. It's a nice trick that a lot of producers use and that I personally do pretty often. I like to place the sound clips in between songs. But a lot of producers like to have the sound clips towards the end of their set and kind of go back and forth. It's all up to personal preference, honestly. And last but not least, please, please, please practice your set. Choose what effects work on certain songs or choose what effects don't work. Or maybe certain songs don't fit into the set list or they don't flow really well into each other. So you may want to have to move stuff around. Do all of this at least one or two days prior to the performance because during the actual performance day you want everything to go smoothly all right guys let me know in the comments what other sp404 related topics you would like me to cover and if you found this video interesting don't forget to hit the like subscribe to the channel or check out any one of my other videos right over here thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time Mumu out.